If you're not doing this in Vietnam, you're doing things wrong. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right here we have Bun Cha. Xin Chao. Hi. This is uh, pork meat. You can see they've got them in these kind of grilling squares. All the smoke is going through there and out. And uh, this costs one dollar for Bun Cha. You can see that they're making it very fresh. They've got the pork meat. Oh, hello. You got the pork meat just here and they're putting it into the squares and they've also got uh, a lot of the fresh chin chow like a lot of the fresh stuff here and uh don't want to be too invasive but this is absolutely delicious you can see grilling so many all right okay so <laughs> they're wondering what i'm doing with the camera but it's honestly so good we're at this place called Bun Cha Quat. So our Bun Cha has arrived. The meat's not arrived yet. Yeah. I haven't even ordered. I thought. Yeah, they just brought it over to us. <laughs> Come on. Just one thing. So you have this kind of vermicelli like noodle. You've got your kind of sauce here, which is, I think there's some kind of radish inside of here. Usually they have carrot as well. Yeah. And what you do is you get the chopsticks and you add the, the rice to this over here and you can like dip it in like that you have some fresh herbs and veggies that you can actually combine together which we're going to be showing you in just a second but we're waiting for the meat which is the most important part let's wait for the meat and see how we combine everything together because this is one of our favorite meals here in vietnam come on okay guys we have got our meat if you come in closer Karen, you can see this is the pork mince it's like a patty that he's grilled just right behind me. So before we dig into this beautiful food, we have to season it. So with our uh, little saucy soup here, we're gonna add a bit of pepper. And that's pepper, yeah, that's pepper. Yeah. And then what we wanna do is add a little bit of chili. Mm -hmm. So you have all these condiments on the side of your table. Mm. So we're gonna just add a bit of chili. I think that's yeah, maybe a little bit less. <laughs> I uh, like the chili. Yeah, a little bit of chili, just like that. And, uh, I don't like mine too spicy, but I'll add a little bit of a kick, just mix that in. And then you want to grab your beautiful noodle here. You want to kind of dip it in just like that. And then you can uh, break up the meat. So this is super succulent, super soft, the pork mince. And there, it just breaks off. You can see beautiful pieces of meat. You want to come a little bit closer, Carolina? Yeah. And then we want to basically dip it in just like that. I think that's how we do it. We've kind of learned by ourselves. We kind of pay attention to the locals around us and see what they do. But let's give this a go. Some mm. Mm -hmm. The meat melts in your mouth. Very nice t uh, flavor of pork. You can tell they've seasoned it really well as well. And so then this soup, this kind of soupy sauce I'm guessing it's, what do you think is inside I of here? Fish, fish sauce? sauce? Yeah. Fish, fish sauce, sauce with some radish. like radish. Yeah. And um, it kind of soaks up the flavors yeah. of the sauce into the noodles, just like this. Yeah, and what I love is mm. adding all of these like, um, this is like, I think uh, salad, some uh, leaves, because it gives the freshness to the dish. You want to show them how you do it? Yeah. So Garoni loves the kind of fresh, vegetables and herbs and this kind of soup gives it like a, this one's a bit different to Hanoi this one has a bit more of like a kind of sweet and sour kind yeah. of flavor to it so as Jay said like a little bit of pepper you want to add a bit of chili a sauce bit of the chili fresh chili like flakes or whatever <laughs> you can see like they're literally constantly making these pork kind of you know, like squared skewers yeah I will break okay. a little bit of the meat all right, so you see how soft it breaks up there? And do you, do you want to combine it with the... That's your thing, right? Yeah, this is my favorite dish and I love to combine it with also like the... Um, yeah, some of the salads. Hello. Hi. YouTube. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. You're local? Oh, okay, this place is really good, right? Good food. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So the people here in Nimbin are very friendly. They're always like waving to us, saying hello, because there's not many yeah. tourists who come mm -hmm. to this area. We, we're in Nimbin city right now, so we're going to be doing a bit of exploration around Nimbin. So this is Carolina's 
mine is gone. The meat is super delicious. I'm going to ask for more. Ah. Ah, that's a skim. Ah. Ah, what? One more? Ah, one, one more, one more. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, he understood me. This is just so good. Hey, you can have it back again. <laughs> I literally ate all of mine just so quickly. Yeah, but people are coming here and passing by. It's such a popular spot for breakfast. Yeah, everyone like pulls up on the motorbikes. It is time to pay. I had some extra meat. So, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> the small chair just <laughs> fell over. <laughs> Come on. You can see the fan. fan is blowing all the smoke into the vent. They've got literally a row of the problems. Okay, come on. Okay. All right, so what was the total? 15,000, so it was uh, 85,000 for two bunchas and extra meat. Yes. Which is around like a couple dollars. Yeah. Something like that. It was one dollar yesterday. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, we are on our bikes right now. Hello, and we're leaving. We've left Nimbin City because, to be honest, there's nothing much to do in Nimbin City. It's just nice to have your kind of restaurants and coffee shops and food options. But we're going to be heading towards Tam Kwok, which I think is where a lot of the tourists actually stay. They never actually go to Nimbin City. So right now we are almost making our way through to the what I think will be the rice fields. Yeah, we've got some rice fields just over here. You can see the mountains in the backdrop. Very beautiful. So we've stopped by a herd of buffaloes. You can see this is a buffalo here with the horns. Hello, my friend. He's come right up to us. He doesn't feel too scared. And there's a herd of them just over here. And I did promise you beautiful views. So check this out. Absolutely beautiful. And it is very wet very flooded but still there is a charm charm to the area and I just love seeing these buffaloes just in their kind of yeah. habitat yes and it's been nice to be on the bikes because for the past couple of days it's been raining so the best thing to explore the area is to have a bike or a motorbike and it's been very wet yeah. very very wet so uh, it's just fortunate that we had a chance to actually come out because it was just raining every day. We have made it into Tam Kwok village and this is definitely the area where all the tourists are staying because you have the rice fields quite close by with the mountains. In Ninbin there was no tourists, there was no foreigners and the locals would often say hello because they weren't probably used to seeing so many foreigners. But definitely it's set up here with coffee shops and restaurants. You probably would never leave this area if you're a uh, tourists but I haven't seen so many tourists here in Nimbin as here in Tam Kwok. What's this car doing in front of us? Vinfast. Is that an electric car? It's an electric car. Come on, come on, please. <laughs> Filming one-handedly with while riding a bike. Not the easiest. Do you want to go on the top or do you want to go down here? The top looks good. Ah, uh, Sin Chao. We can... Ah, uh, do you want to sit there or do you want to... Well, this is by the fish actually or do you want to go up there? Can we go upstairs? Okay. Okay. We go around? Yeah, okay. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so if we can get a bit of a bird's eye view of the place, I think it'd be quite nice. <laughs> Alright, so there's some fish actually. We can go just over here. Oh actually that place there is better. So we've got this beautiful seating over here. Where do you want to sit? Yeah? What I really like is the uh, koi fish. You got a little bridge going through there. This is your coffee shop. Oh, this is yours. Yours? Owner? Boss? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, we'll have egg coffee. Egg and... coffee. Yeah, okay, okay, come okay, on. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes uh, English is a little bit limited. Egg coffee. Egg coffee. <laughs> come on. Wow. So this is the egg coffee, as you can see. It's in this kind of pool of water. Yeah, it's you know almost in this like warm bath. It's okay, it's like a water yeah. water bath and yeah, it kind of it's boiling hot. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but you can see you've got the egg coffee on the top there. Whoa, I heard mm. the whiskey has got that. Look at that. And I'm guessing there's beautiful coffee at the bottom. Yeah. And the And I actually ordered uh, black coffee with fresh milk and cold, so I got uh, separately the ice, the milk and the very 
fragrant uh, Vietnamese coffee. I love it. <laughs> you want to give it a try? I think that I need to mix it, right? Yeah. So I, let's, if you want it cold, some, uh, yeah. Maybe add some ice. Yeah. It's the first time that I've been served like it separately. Mm -hmm. so I think it would be very good. Maybe like that. Uh, fresh milk. Carolina de Barista. <laughs> <laughs> If you're a coffee lover, you're gonna love Vietnam. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah. That's how I love Vietnam. <laughs> very good, very strong. And Vietnamese coffee has this kind of like the aftertaste of like kind of margarine, like butter and some sugar, maybe condensed milk, but it's not sweet. It's weird, but I love it. I just wanna say a big thank you to Daniel, who we woke up this morning and we saw a PayPal donation, which is the equivalent of like 15 or 16 of our buy me a coffee so there is a link in the description where you can buy us buy me a coffee so you can write us a message and if there's anything you want to share or things you want to, us to do that's the place to do it and there's no like obligation to donate like as many coffees as you want you can do one or two and people are kind of staring at me from uh behind the camera so i'm just kind of losing my focus but uh We've got the egg coffee here. Let's give this a go. And yeah, thank you so much, Daniel. Uh, I think Daniel's from Poland. I don't want to say his surname because it could be an anonymous donation. On um, Buy Me a Coffee, you can do an anonymous donation. But look at the egg coffee there. So I think the first thing you do is you have it like a pudding. Mm. Mm. You like this pudding, mm. kind of marshmallowy, right? It's like really marshmallowy, sweet, mm. and uh, has kind of flavor of coffee in it. Mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's really like marshmallow. I, I really don't know what the water is there. Probably just to cool it down, but I didn't drink the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the foam is very thick. Mm -hmm. mm. That's how you know that the coffee is good. Oh yeah, the combination of the egg on top, the marshmallow kind of like taste with the coffee. I think the idea behind this was that I think uh, when the French were here. Was it a French influence? Yeah, French. French. So basically, they wanted milk in their coffee mm. or cream, and they didn't have that much dairy here in Vietnam. And so they had to come up with a way to make the coffee like cream, like da with dairy. And that's where they've made this egg into pretty much like the cream on top. That's exactly how it was. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> They're very cute here. They don't speak much English, but they just speak the language with smiles. It looks like they're actually living in this uh, building just over here. I can see some washing just up there, and then you've got like a rooftop area, but the view definitely is much better in the kind of coffee area. How was your coffee? Good. I good? loved it. Yes. My coffee was good, but there was a wasp who just kept on attacking me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, come on. <laughs> Got some free water. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> That's super kind. I was not thank expecting. You. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <clears throat> cool motorbikes. That's awesome. You're traveling all over Vietnam with the motorbikes? Or? Cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, first place actually where they've just given us water. I uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, is it because of the camera? But they seem very genuine, friendly people, and I think they love the fact that we're bringing kind of attention, marketing to their place. So this is the place that's called San Coffee. You'll see it has five star reviews. So we're just heading out of the main area of Tam Quoc. On the way back, because we have to come back towards there, we'll tell you what the reality of it is. Staying there, a lot of tourists stay there. It's very built up, and it's not really a cup of tea. Uh, we like more of the local feel to our travels. We don't like to be just grouped up with a bunch of tourists. But that's just our how we like to spend our time. We'll show you on the way back what it looks like. But right now, I can understand why people like to stay near Tam Quoc because as you come outside, you're just greeted with very, very uh, beautiful landscapes. Feels similar to Ha Long, right? Like uh, kind of Ha Long Bay vibes. Maybe not as beautiful, but still similar kind of to that. But you do have trucks like this coming at speed on the roads. So when you're on a bike, sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating and there's also lots of motorbikes. I'm not gonna lie guys, it is very touristy around here. We have a lot of people this way. Okay, 
Uh, a lot of people trying to get us into their restaurants and massage parlors. I think we can park up our bike here. This is the uh, entrance to the pagoda. Quite touristy. But uh, let's uh, see, where do we park the bikes? Oh, I think we park it. Parking points. Oh. So this looks like the parking area. We can maybe park our bicycles just over here. Seems like uh, someone's uh, quibbling about the price of the parking. All right. Mm. Uh, 20 for two. How much was your parking, uh, by the way, guys? Sorry? How much was your parking? Uh, for the, for paid, I mean, two days ago we paid 15, and today it has cost 15. Oh, okay. For two is. Mm. Uh, for two, uh, is, that, is that about right, the price? Uh, we, have think, a um, uh, we have a motorbike. Okay. So the price is it's good. All right. Okay. Money now. <laughs> Money now? Okay. <laughs> this is the business. Yeah, this is uh, the reality of the tourist areas here. In the, yeah, let's just pay the man and just get on with our thing. <laughs> okay. All right, bye. <laughs> I love it. But uh, this is the entrance this way. Walk, walk, walk. Okay. Make it friendly. No, no, it's okay. Um, yeah. What I thought was going to be more of a peaceful entrance to the pagoda ended up being buses, uh, these like electric kind of cars that take groups of people um, but let's focus on this area so you got the, the rock face the beautiful temples I'm sure Carolina's gonna want to take a photo yes okay so we're gonna take a photo next to this beautiful structure here it looks like it might be free to go through here so you know I'm not gonna quibble about uh, the parking <laughs> fee. I was just confused about what was happening like they were seeming like the, the other tourists were seeming like uh, the that's very interesting. <laughs> They're just selling like she's just selling stuff there on the side. <laughs> Some music. Um, yeah, the, the other tourists were like quibbling about the price, so I thought, mm. oh, we got to be careful not to kind of get conned, because uh, in kind of tourist places, especially like here, we're a little bit more on high alert. Mm. But uh, it's very nice here, actually. It's once you get out of the chaos of the entrance. The rocks are very interesting. Then you have this path. It looks like they've got. Um, uh, these are banana, uh, b growing bananas mm -hmm. just over here. Okay, so uh, people are taking photos on the entrance here. 1992. Very beautiful. <laughs> ah, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we're going to be coming into the. Hello. Hello. Sim Chow. Hello. 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 You look very beautiful. <laughs> Uh, so it looks like this is this the pagoda. This is funny here. I'll show you something in a second, but uh, this, uh, this is kind of funny. This place is not for impolite visitors. Mm -hmm. It's funny they have to have a sign like that, otherwise, I feel like there might be some impolite people coming here. You can hear some music in the background from the temples. So we have made it to hello to the pagoda here at the top. You do have to do just a little bit of light walking. What was that sorry? Not the top. You have to go inside the cave. Oh. You can go inside of the cave. Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. So it's just the beginning. All right. How long does it take? Ah, no, not so far. Five minutes. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Good. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, actually, we can go through the cave here. I was not expecting to do this. It's very dark. So, we've made it to the top. We're greeted by this very relaxing music. This is the kind of pagoda at the top. So, we're going to shortly leave the pagoda. It's very nice. You can see behind me, this is the view 
<laughs> I love like the landscape here and they're growing cabbage just here and they do have these kind of banana trees we've seen them growing banana trees and they've got some nets just over here which it looks like I think they use this to fish I could be very wrong but I feel like they put that into the water just over there so there are people living here at the pagoda um, but for the video content I'm not gonna film if I don't feel it's engaging if I feel it's not providing value to you guys and going to this pagoda it's nice you go up through a cave system to the top but uh, nothing like incredible nothing worth kind of in my f opinion sharing what about you Carolina say it's a place that you can eventually visit and it's nice to walk around and to be around the caves and etc but it wasn't like anything like super like captivating and there was no even a view at the top yeah so I, was, I was a bit disappointed but yeah you kind of climb yeah. a little bit higher up into the kind of yeah. rock face you can see actually the cave is just over there yeah. um what we've learned it's actually like so when something happens second, unexpectedly is the best that's where people are living <laughs> yeah. uh, what you're saying sorry when something happens that you don't expect uh, that is going to be in such a place like this is something that we really like so like you've been yeah. seeing the houses here like how they're growing the things i think like temple, more interesting temples <laughs> it's like asian height yeah. with the cables but uh temples um, are some things we try to avoid for content because a lot of the times they're kind of similar vibe to it mm. and for you guys watching I don't think it's super interesting maybe I'm wrong so I promised you guys I would show you what it's like in Tam Kwok all of these restaurants here on the right you can see very identical pretty much all tourists and foreigners just outside <clears throat> it doesn't feel like for us very Vietnamese I feel like it's and I'm not being a snob here I just really like to be when I go to countries to be amongst the locals and there's no locals here it's just uh, tourists so it's all built up in this area so uh, me and Carolina we find that in these tourist areas the prices are higher uh, they're a bit more aggressive in terms of trying to get you into places selling you stuff um, and actually it's not an accurate view of what the culture is of a country uh, of a area as well because when you come to the local places in Nimbin city like we did earlier people are very very friendly very genuine oh my god i don't want to get hit here best to stop carolina what is one of the reasons why you like to be more in the local areas and not the tourist areas i would say authenticity like you basically can see how people live how they react to you like i think it's even like being treated as a tourist it's something that we don't like <laughs> look at these guys all coming this way i don't know what they're gonna come my way hello guys so in Ninbin goat meat is on the menu and uh, I've heard it's uh, pretty delicious I'm guessing these guys are what's being served here in Ninbin <laughs> alright we have got another spot to show you we're heading towards the mountains so lady just stopped on the road and told us to park here um, I think there is a bunch of parking spots along here uh, 20,000 so 10,000 per bike same as earlier on okay. yeah she's a sharp change but um, you can see there's people with the motorbikes they can park here or you can go further down I feel like uh, we could go all the way down it would have been better but she, she's told us to stop I, oh his goats <laughs> um they're uh, being very they're being very forceful i i didn't really like that to be honest i didn't like the fact that they literally were acting like they were being very official when they're not really official it's like i can see people riding their motorbikes and bikes all the way down to the end and uh maybe we still need to, we still need to park somewhere yeah so it's still necessary but we still <laughs> we still got a way to walk so you're better off coming over here hello <laughs> because right. the mean? motorbike is ten thousand and the bicycle is five thousand yeah we pay uh for a motorbike is ten thousand for a bicycle is five thousand 
Yeah, over there, uh, 10,000, so 20,000 for bicycles. So bicycles. Over there. Uh, yeah, here it's five. Yeah, it's five. Cheaper. Okay. Okay. All right, come on. It's cheap, yeah, very cheap. Yeah, oh, you got coconuts. They got coconuts. When we come back. Okay. <laughs> Um, there you go. There you go, guys. I felt very. There was something inside of me that felt I didn't like how the woman at the beginning was treating us in a way. And again, we are in a touristy area, being treated as tourists. Treated as tourists, and I mean, it's not the money; it's the, it's the principle. Yeah. Like they're stopping you, and they're charging you more. It's uh, double. Ticket? I think we've got to pay for a ticket. Yeah, but uh, it's double the price of um, what the lady was charging us there. Oh, hi. Gonna get a ticket to go up? Okay, cool. 100,000 uh, per person. Okay. It's quite a bit, but hopefully it's nice. It's to to walk upstairs. I don't Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, like, I like that thinking. Yeah. We should be getting paid to walk upstairs. Getting. <laughs> he said we should be getting paid to walk up the stairs. Yep. <laughs> and chow? Uh, two, two tickets? tickets? We can pay by card? Yes. No, no, no card. Okay. Just cash, yeah. We can get a receipt, is that okay? Thank you. We'll get the ticket. Alright, oh, we've got the tickets, yeah. Is the amount on there? Yeah, perfect. Okay, come on. Come on. Alright, so. We're going to be walking up a mountain, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Service with a smile. <laughs> but uh, this is what we're saying about like tourist areas. Just, just feels a bit off, doesn't it? Sometimes uh, you definitely get treated better in the local areas, and that's the real like culture. Yeah. That's the real culture. It's not how this... people treat the other people. Oh, what's happening? That's cool. I love it. They've got some horses. Where where have we decided to go to? This is called Hangamua. Uh, this... I like this uh, entrance though. It's quite nice. I mean, um, hundred thousand ticket. Let's see what we get. It's, it's not too bad. You got like a water wheel here. You got these lanterns. More koi fish. Oh, it's actually very, very pleasant here. If they had coconuts in here, I'd grab a coconut. <laughs> we kind of promised the lady on the outside we would get a coconut because she had fair prices, to be honest. But um, I don't know where we're going. Look, this is the place, Hang Moa. I guess we're heading in this direction. So we are walking to the top. You can see kind of halfway up these steps are very steep so after cycling for most of the day my legs are getting pretty tired but uh hopefully i can show you the view just around here uh, that's not a bad view actually Whew. but it, <laughs> it is like a glorified uh, viewpoint though yeah. for uh Hundred thousand each, but it's it's nice. I'm not gonna complain. Yeah, and I love the rocks. So we've come up there around. You got these Vietnamese flags, which I like. And actually, these are the rice fields in the background. You can actually it's like a boardwalk you can yeah. walk through. I think we're will be so beautiful halfway this up. Season so now it's kind of grey. What, what like, did you say? Sorry. It would be so nice in the season of like the rice fields because it's now kind of like brown grey. Yeah, not super beautiful. We made it to the top. That was harder than I thought. But actually there's two ways to go up. You can go up here or you can come up here and there are conveniently places to sit. Check out the view. Someone's flying a drone. But it's very nice. I think I'm gonna take a sit. Oh, that's our exercise done for today as well as riding our bicycles but you can see you can actually see in the distance the view of I'm guessing it's Nimbin City Nimbin City you want to go up that one as well yeah I thought we were at the top but we weren't 
<laughs> actually we're going up these really steep steps and there's far less people coming up to the top because everybody's kind of tired just down there but no point coming to the viewpoint if you're not coming to the top oh, a lot of flies here Whoa. Whoa. and we're almost there just over there okay now we're at the top you can see the views over there very spectacular so we are leaving Hangmoa you can see there is crazy amounts of <laughs> tourists coming through so we've all been tourists out we could get coconuts from here but uh, in the touristy places uh, the prices are always inflated see oh my god there's mini buses and vans that are pulled up with tons of tourists we came we came at the right time because it wasn't this busy probably what time is it Carolina Half uh, three. Oh, I wonder why people are coming at this time. <laughs> but we're going to go to the lady who was uh, having genuine price points for parking. You get, we want to reward the people who are doing genuine business. So I can't wait for a coconut because after going all the way to the top, it was pretty intense. I think it was over here, right? Mm -hmm. All right. We promised her we're going to keep our promise. You can see the coconuts are just over here. Oh, hi, two coconuts. Hello. <laughs> ah, I said we come. Okay. So she recognized us straight away because, uh, I mean, two people with a GoPro, one brown guy and one white girl. I think it's very noticeable. Let's see if she's going to chop it. Okay. Okay. So she's, she's got the coconut. Okay, she's, look, at that, look at that knife. Oh, there we go. That's one. And one more. Do you want to? Oh my god, I can't wait to look at the water inside of there. Yeah, I'm so excited. Too. We love coconuts. Oh, sure. One, two, sixty. One, two, 60. Good price, cheap price. <laughs> Good price. Vietnam, come on. Come on, come on. Thank you, come on. All right, so Carolina, you got small change, maybe a hundred thousand. Yeah, I'll give a hundred thousand. There you go. We've got a hammock. <laughs> I actually just want to sit on one of these chairs. Let's go along here. This one looks comfortable. There we go, I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna give this a go. I've got a seat next to you here, or well, next to me. Mm. That climb to the top was I wasn't expecting it. It was actually pretty intense because of the steep, steep stairs. It's very kind of crowded, and you keep thinking you're at the top, but mm. like those three times we thought we were at the top, yeah. wasn't the case. But the view was worth it. I would mm. say it was mm. a very beautiful view. But this is heaven. <laughs> yeah, like after the climb, having coconuts is mm. the best way to treat yourself and, and get sweet. hydrated. Yeah, it's very sweet. And what I love about coconuts is that they have just so much water inside of them. They're very deceiving. So right now we're just dropping off our bikes. We've come to Duck Hoi, this is a bike shop. This guy's recommended here. And I think it's uh, 80,000, 80,000, 160,000. He's giving us okay. discount. Oh, discount, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. thank you, my friend. <laughs> okay, thank you. Guys, come get your bike to Duck Hoi. These are very nice chaps here. So we're back in Nimbin City and right next to our accommodation, there's a beautiful place where we're in right now, which has beautiful lanterns just everywhere. Even if you come over to this side, you have these boats just over here, all have lanterns on them. I think you can go for a boat ride through to lake oh hello. hello i like your uh sign it's uh <laughs> traditional vietnamese it's probably. the aldai i think it's aldai yeah. but uh lots of people taking pictures here i'm not surprised but uh you're by the water so i think these boats from over here can go under the bridge you go on a little bit of a tour around the lake yeah. and uh <laughs> i love the uh instagram instagram photos i think it's funny because here is 
more Vietnamese yeah. um, tourists. Yeah, actually, as, yeah. As opposed to the foreigners, foreigners yeah, who were at the uh, place earlier on. This is such a cool Highlands coffee. This is a really cool Highlands coffee. Really, really cool. You can have nice seating outdoors here, but this Highlands coffee has definitely got a nice vibe. Even, even it's got lanterns on it over there. Mm -hmm. And when the sun comes down and it turns into darkness, this place lights up. It's amazing. I want to show you that. It's around five o'clock, so we've got about half an hour to the sunset. But uh, definitely, this is Instagram, Instagram friendly spot, or like it's where all the people. Are. <laughs> I love it. Uh, people are like posing it's like when I'm carrying the camera and I'm sometimes a bit self-conscious of how I'm speaking and when people start staring at me yeah, it's kind of off-putting but it's the same when people are taking pictures and I'm looking at them they're also getting a little bit um, self-conscious but you can see yeah it's very nice I don't know what these are I think you can also walk along there I think we'll do that in a second but I want to see what's inside of here because it looks like it's very majestic looking I don't know if we can actually go inside of here, but I think we can. I think, I don't know if we can. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to step. Yeah, like there's this over here, but uh, I think it should be fine, maybe. I think it's okay. I'm going to be brave. <laughs> and uh, I was, I, I didn't know if I could step inside. So I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm going to step inside. Oh wow, it goes so high up. It was... Oh wow. Oh, that's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Oh, unbelievable. Look at the carvings. Yeah, the carvings. Yeah, the carvings are insane. <laughs> All these kind of vases. I have a friend who's Vietnamese. And the vases that he owns are incredibly expensive. Some, some of the vases are around three, four, five hundred years old and they are like ten, twenty thousand dollars. As you can see, where's Carolina gone? I have no idea. Oh, she's over here, but they've also got another one just over there on the water that you can walk along. Very nice, right? And uh, I love the smell. There's like a strong smell of like... Uh, Maybe some, some sort of like, scent? I can see it. It's uh, incense. They always have it in um, the kind of pagodas. Yeah. There's lighting it. Should we uh, head over here? Everyone is dressed very beautifully in the Ao Dai. <laughs> oh, they're taking a picture of them. <laughs> ah, let's go, go past, go past. We're getting out of the way. <laughs> so, actually, um, on that side of the water, they have places you can eat, but. Uh, it's very nice. Um, it's not as crowded as the areas we're in earlier on, so it just feels... It, it's definitely a tourist spot, like a tourist attraction, but it's not... Uh, it's very relaxing. Yeah, I'm moving the camera now, but what I wanted to show you are these lotuses on the river. Like, they're pink and they're, like, giant. I love it. They're really far away. Like, I don't know what for they're there. Maybe it's just the decoration. Yeah, it's good. What do you think? Good work. Do you like... <laughs> do you like Carolina's vlogging work? Do you want to take them inside? And... Yeah, let's do that. Come here. Yeah, yeah, you've got to interact with the lens. Yes. You've got to, there's the lens, that's the person there. Yeah. And you've got to speak to it and tell them, show them the... Yeah, bear with me, guys. It it's it's not very natural, but uh, here, let's sit here. So this is another, like, pagoda. I guess we can just enter like this. This one's nice as well. Yeah. And it's very nice, it's very quiet and I actually really like the pottery here, like and these the smells bases. coming from here, Carolina, the incense. Oh, Bring yeah. it closer in, it's just the, the burning yeah, incense. Yeah, yeah. There's actually a whole pot full of this incense. Yeah. And if you look up to the sky, that's the, yeah, that's the beautiful... Yeah, captures... Oh wow, I didn't see it. Yeah. Look at There's that. There's Buddhas everywhere um, on the roof. Yeah. And it's and all in gold, but like this Buddha is like female, I think. And they've got... She looks like female. There's uh, carvings. I don't know if that, I don't think that's a Buddha carving. Yeah. That's uh, someone, someone else. Yeah, know. these carvings are also very beautiful. Pretty cool. Did you guys like Carolina's vlogging work? I hope so. <laughs> it's not easy. This honestly, you really want not to easy. Keep the 
the, the perspective like our viewers are here with us but like it's very difficult sometimes especially when people are watching you Carolina hit me with a GoPro once, once because I was like oh come on vlog and yeah. like it was the end of the video in a quiet street and she didn't want to do it I was like oh, just do yeah, it and then she said like two words fluffed them and then <laughs> went to swing swing at me <laughs> so I did say to you guys that we were going to show you the lanterns we are going to show you the lanterns we're a little bit hungry so we've come to a place that we like to come to here in Nimbin city we're at Fa'an it's like a very local place in here our guy here is very nice. Yeah. Have you ordered? Uh, no, not yet. Maybe okay. Hello. Hello. You, you. YouTube. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> One night for long. Yeah. Uh, One um, uh, for uh, Ga. For Ga. And uh, for, for Ba. Ba. But the uh, Kong Sao Mui. Uh, <laughs> for Ba. Uh, do you want it? No yeah. coriander. No, no coriander. For him. Kong Sao Mui. Uh, I've got to say. <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay. I think he understands. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Poland. Yes. Ireland. England. Yeah, Ireland. We came last time, yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, thank you. So we have these uh, drinks. Uh, is it warm? It's, yeah, it's oh, wow, like green it is. Okay, let's give this a go. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It's like a um, green tea kind of... Mm. Nice and warm. All right, I, I think he might not understand like the <laughs> coriander thing, so I just want to. Make so sure. what we do is we go on to our Google Translate, and we put no coriander because it's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna write that. Kong uh, Mui. Kong. This one. Okay. Yeah, uh, for fubba. Fubba. Okay. So <laughs> Karen's got fubba, and I've got fubba. <laughs> Our food is ready. Beautiful. And uh, kway. Uh, we all can order kway. Okay. Fubba. Look at that, wow. guys. Wow. Look chicken. at that. Beautiful. Yeah, chicken. Yes. Chicken. Chicken. Okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can squeeze it in. Yeah. And uh, Quay, okay. <laughs> I uh, I don't know if he's uh, understanding of the. Oh, you know uh, Quay, 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 Quay. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. So he's always uh, showing us. I think last time. All right, we've got our chopsticks just here. I'm gonna put that one on top of my drink, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he was saying just to get some lime and just uh, squeeze that on top like this. It's beautiful, and uh, you can have some. Oh, there's some, some chili with some. It's actually some chili garlic. Yeah, chili and garlic. It's a good combination. Yeah, I can give some to you. Oh yeah, please. Thank you. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So this, you want to mix it up. It's funny because last time he actually, um, I think he's bringing <laughs> the quay over now. Let's uh, see. Okay. Yeah. Come, come on. So we mix it up. Yeah, like this. It's good. Like this. Oh. <laughs> he was shocked. He's gonna show us. So he's gonna mix it in, making sure. It's funny because we're recording this, but the first time we came here is exactly the same. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I like the Christ I like the Christmas tree still going. <laughs> okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. Same. You wanna he's telling you to really I'm not doing this right. Perfect. Really like this, yeah. Really mixing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Super friendly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, quite. Jump and yeah. on. Yes. And then dip in. Jump. Yeah. Jump and J on. Yeah. And in. Jump. Jump and in. Yes. Jump on. So you can dip it in just like this, and it kind of absorbs the broth, the soup. And this is like a fried dough bread, so it kind of absorbs all of that goodness. Let's give this a go. <laughs> Hot? Oh, wow. This is even better than last time, Gary. Yeah. Yeah. It's really good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really like our pot. Yeah. I like this because it's kind of crunchy, and then you, you kind of dip it in, and it gets a little bit softer, but it still has the crunch. Yeah, people say not to leave it for too long because mm. it gets soggy. Now zoom into this, Carolina. Mm, we love our pie. Look at that. You got pieces of the bo, the beef. Let's give this a go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
very very hot. Yeah. I love it when it's piping hot because it's fresh. Yeah, this is the real Vietnam. Mm. This is so good chicken, like, and then with the noodles. I love it. It's but very it's hot. It's piping yeah. hot. Yeah, blow on it. Oh, you got to blow on it and then mm. you go straight for it. Mm. Better than last time or same? I really like it because it's like pure chicken breast and the broth is also very flavorful. When you add the lime in, it's just very fresh, right? <laughs> it's funny because the lady who made our, our pho was walk, walked in yeah. behind you and then saw the camera and then walked back out. <laughs> this is Ho Chi Minh around here. Got to yep. pay? Yes. I'm going to give 100,000. <laughs> we pay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how much for the pho? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 No, it's okay. Yeah. For you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Come on. Bye -bye. Okay. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, bye. bye. When we're vlogging in low light with a GoPro, it's not the best. So we do this. <laughs> How's that, guys? All right. So at first, I thought he was trying to say, um, like you, you, you don't need to pay, <laughs> but I think he forgot that we uh, didn't pay. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was very nice service. He gave some bananas, and they kept topping up our uh, soups. soups. I'm so full. Like I've never had such a big dose of like the broth. And it was eighty thousand for them two very big helpings of uh, pho and the quay. Yeah. Actually, uh, I think that they were so nice that they forgot that we ordered it. So I feel like it was supposed <laughs> to be more expensive than it was, but yeah. we gave. Bit of a tip because they were very friendly. They gave us some free bananas, and now we're in. The madness again. We're back in Nimbin City. All right, Carolina, it's your time to shine. Show us what do you love about this place. We can see that there's so many lanterns, and actually, when you pass by and look around, like they're all around you. Like I love it. I don't know what it is, but I just love this place. And if we swing over, this is actually the thing I like the most yeah. here. It's very magical. I love the lighting, it's like a orange lighting and these boats you can take them out onto the water as I said earlier. And the great thing about here is that actually there's not so many people. Alright guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs>